Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I'm trying to focus this all in. This is Lesson 4, Module 1. All right, now, I'm just try to get some of this light off of this. There we go. All right, so we're going to be working more with ratios of numbers, and we're going to do some tape diagram work on this one. So here we go. In a bag of mixed walnuts and cashews, the ratio of the number of walnuts to the number of cashews is 5 to 6. Determine the number of walnuts that are in the bag if there are 54 cashews. Use a tape diagram to support your work. Justify your answer by showing what the new ratio you created of the number of walnuts to the number of cashews and how it's equivalent to 5, 6. Okay, so here we go. First things first, order matters. So walnuts to cashews. So walnuts comes first, cashews come second. So this five to six ratio right here means that walnuts represent the five and cashews represent the six. Okay, so that's the first piece of information that is super, super important. Um, so now it says determine the number of walnuts. So this is our missing piece of information if there are 54 cashews. All right, so first thing we need to do is start making our tape diagram. So we have two different things. We have walnuts, cashews. And it says that walnuts are in the five, five boxes, cashews, six. All right, see how my tape diagrams look very similar in size? You got to really try hard during the school year to when you're making your tape diagrams to make them look like they're about the same. Not necessarily same length, just same size boxes. It's It looks a lot better. Now, it says, determine the number of walnuts... So we don't know the walnuts if there are 54 cashews. So this row equals 54. So we have six boxes that has to be 54. Okay. So if we have six boxes to make 54, we have to figure out what goes in each box in order to make it add up to 54. So a lot of kids think six boxes times what gives us 54 and we come up with the answer of nine so we put nine in each box and we have to do the same here because whatever we put in one box we have to put in the other so now we can easily find out the walnut number so nine times five or nine repeat addition five times and we'll end up with 45. now we showed that with the tape diagram, so now we have to show that with the new ratio. So our original ratio was 5 to 6, and now we're going to make our next ratio into 45 50 fourths, and we need to see if these are actually equal. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can see how do we get from a 6 to a 54, which is multiplying by 9, we could do it to the top and see if it equals, and that would be a yes. Or we can do it like this. We take 5 to 6, 45 50 fourths, and we can cross multiply, and we can see if those end up equaling each other. So when we cross multiply, we get 270 over here. And when we multiply here, we get 270 also. So 54 times 5 is 270. 6 times 45 is 270. That is also equal. Well, that is a wrap on Lesson 4. And as always, I love math. <laughs>